Hi guys, it's Becky. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're already subscribed, thanks for coming back. Today I'm going to be swapping out the stuff from my yellow uh, Delphonics pouch, medium, to my new grey one. I'm really excited to get everything stuck into here and see see um, <clears throat> how it all goes. Now, I've zoomed you right out so you can see like the amount of stuff that you can fit in these pouches and I'm hoping I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get this chunky beast in there as well. Um, I could get it in here, uh, but without the pencil cases. So we'll just see, and I'll just show you the stuff um, as we go. So I'll bring you down. I'll bring you back down. Sorry about the the glare. And I'll just like keep everything where it is, but I'll show you what is in certain things so for like i'll show you the pouch first in case you haven't seen a delphonics pouch this is a medium size um i have got a small i don't know where i've put it now this is a medium size they're really really good they're called utility pouch and this is a medium with 15 pockets and then the measurements are there as well so this is the front and you've got like three little pockets here which are more like for pens and stuff they're not elasticated you've got a pocket here which is quite big and quite deep and then you've got this pocket here and then you've got two pockets there which go all the way to the bottom of the bag then on the rear side you have this pocket here this pocket here and then you have a big velcro pocket at the back inside each side you have one of these pockets that goes down to the bottom so um we'll start by i'll just show you the things that um we're gonna put in it um shall i just show you as i go so this stuff here is what i'd use if i am planning in this planner um this at the minute <clears throat> houses my cut down stalgy which i've just done a plan with me for this and it also houses my kimbo planner which i absolutely love like this is kind of i've stopped doing my hobonichi weeks just because this is just so much easier to to plan with so it's a little bit of decorative planning uh, i journal in the back of my strategy and then i set the weeks up so it's only really for it's only really for the kimball or any like functional type planning that i do oh willow bear you slammed the door um, yeah, so the kids are out playing while Willow's just come back in and Chris has took the dog to work So the dog little Nico um, So I thought I'd take this opportunity to film so I apologize in advance if um, Anyone comes in yes any type of functional planning also um, When I want to plan in my weeks So I do weekly plan with me's in here um, I get all the stuff from here as well. Um, the journaling side of it, so like what I'd use for the daily pages in my cousin and everything, I've currently got in a large drawer pouch from Hobonichi. This is like what I'd say was my normal planning, but I'm th I'm I'm thinking of trying out. Um, journaling in a traveler's notebook so you've seen my unboxing of my traveler's notebook i fell down the rabbit hole of watching um like collage videos in in like these kind of notebooks so i have ordered some things i'm just going to wait for them to come in and then i'll do a big haul um of what i've got so i am ordering some like collage stuff 
and I want a regular size um, I've just got FOMO guys I want a regular size traveler's notebook and when um, that comes and everything that's what the yellow one's going to be used for because it matches like the brown really nice and these are like more pastel-y colors and things that's why I chose the gray one for them to go into so there's quite a lot here um, so I'll just go through it so in this pencil case it's a clear pencil case it's got poppers there poppers there um, and I've got some whiteouts some tweezers a ruler one of my favorite pens a pencil a sharpie fine point so it's permanent um, a glue pen and this little washi cutter that I got from AliExpress which I just think is really cute because it's a cloud so that is in this pencil case and then in this one I've just got when I was doing when I started doing color coding for my cousin these were the colors in the color coding so this says every day I'm plannering this is from the planner spot um yes yeah, so I've got those two and I'm not sure if they will fit in but also um just because it won't fit in the pencil case I've got these uh scissors these are also from a planner spot subscription and i've got my eco um special edition rose gold twisby as well that will just go in one of the front pouches i've also got a um card i think this is from alvi planning co it's foiled and it's got my name on it I've got the blue Hobonich stencil and the green Hobonich stencil. I have got the yellow one as well. Um, so yeah, they've got to go in there. I've only got one, let's bring you down. I've only got one uh, washi card currently at the minute with some of my favorite washes on there. Um, Post-it notes, so I've got just this cloth and paper one came in a cloth and paper order that I placed just because it's light it's square it's easy to write on I've also got these which are from the planner spot so there is let's go there's a month view which I like there is a tracker one and then there is this week one which I like to use for videos or meals or anything like that um, let's keep going let's do these ones after so i've got these um photo albums from hobonichi and these house different things so this has got uh like functional scripts that i want to be able to get these i like using these in my kimball so i've got remember i've got them on matte paper as well as transparent and these are from pebble and co so i've got remember appointment to do and important i'm going to be putting in a order from um papery planning as well because she does some things like this and then i've got these um the planner spot like dot stickers with different things on so this is a work one so it's got like work build you mail meeting call this is an occasions one so it has like birthdays and things like that and then we've got a holidays one here wellness chores and then like these are just text dots so appointments birthdays etc this is a text dots sampler so meeting class zoom due these would be good for when i'm studying and then i've got this old harriet wright designs scripts these simply gilded ones that came in the simply gilded box and then some more planner spot scripts and some clear planner scripts spot scripts in there and then the next one that is scripts as well is from daisy paper so i've got some plan and then I've got this week and next week and to do and I've got AM and PM routine some to do's in different color goals notes important to do plan this week next week in different colors notes important 
goals a and pm so i think i've got the same like in different colors that one says study study and yoga so that is like the scripts um that i like to use for planning are in there and also i have this little folder which is an old happy scrappy one this is where i house all of my oh that one's you empty no this is where i house all of my rebel inco scripts like if i want a clear script this is where i'll go like she does custom ones as well so i you see me use these all the time so i definitely need those with me on this side is like a mixture but um it's got like um Oh, that's from my dad's funeral so i've got some to do's a break a sleep a reading like if i need something i can tend to be able to find it especially on these little ones that we used to get with happy scrappy so i keep all of those just on the other side so those three things there are um the scripts section and also in the back of here i put some other scripts that i do use like on a daily basis or weekly basis especially with my um hobonichi weeks i use these every week i think i've got them from no not that one so i do keep spares of things no not that one here we go so i just take them from this Ooh. sticker album which has got like the louis, v louis vuitton i don't know what's on that um so i just take them off here and stick them in there and then when i run out i will order another one so i've got that one um so yeah i have scripts in the back of this this sticker release paper is Traveller's Notebook B-Sides and Rarities. In the UK, I got this from Cork Pens. Um, I don't know where you can get it from in America, but just Google that and, and it'll be there. And then in the front, I've got a few loose ones because there's no room. And then this is where I put a lot of my most used um, stickers. So I know re I can do a whole spread with just this little booklet. It's got a mixture of everything in there and then with the scripts at the back it's like super super easy in this one here because i have started using uh like coffee monster co and laura jane styles puppets and once more with munchkins i use them in my kimbo so i had loads and loads of samplers from the coffee monster co through orders so what i've done is I've just come in here and just stuck in all the samplers and things sheets that I had I mean I have got more sheets than this but I wanted a mixture of things in here so I can pretty much find what I'm looking for in this book and this book is free then and I have shown my previous sticker storage for like uh, this is what I consider um, like when I plan the when I back plan the weeks in my Hobonichi weeks these are all these ones here are character stickers so there are um, stickers in here but I've tend to I've tried to take a couple off each sheet and put them in that book and then we've got the bigger section here the bigger one here as well so that is my stickers for like character stickers that i use they go in another one of those and then these two albums so this one is like my boxes uh one because these fit really nicely in the weeks they fit really nicely in the kimbo like when i've looked back through previous planners of mine um when things are in boxes or highlighted or something they send they tend to stick out um, a lot more than when they're not so like I'll show you in here when I was um, when I was looking through here this is the Kimball by the way 
like this isn't something that um, I want to particularly remember but if I look at this nothing really jumps out at me and if I look at this that jumps out at me and that is when um, my gorgeous dog passed away he passed away in the morning and then nothing really jumps out at me there and then these two stand out to me when I look at it so that's the day Zeus was cremated and that's the day we picked up our dog Nico um, so yeah I don't think I've used any of the square pictures in there the squares in there but I definitely have in like here so from this was a couple of weeks ago I used them in there just to just to like they you draw they draw your eye um to them and I haven't used them. I used them here um I do use them in my home and each cousin as well but yeah so I use them in all three of the planners so I wanted to have them all in one place now these are from a uh, company called little bloom papery and she does uh two for two tuesday so each sheet is a pound basically um i'll sh get my latest order because i just wanted to show you this is um just going to be a, like a a chatty video but i know you all like to see um the stickers so i've got one two three four five uh, six seven eight nine ten so all of these cost me ten pounds and there's two like journaling sheets now a hundred percent i'll be able to plan my weeks my kimbo and like the monthly in my weeks or somehow this this these two three pages here will enable will enable me to plan like at least four weeks worth and then I've got extras so initially when I get like an order I keep them all together and then once I've you know used them a little bit then I'll um, transfer them into different places where they're going to go but I've only just started recently I had bought some previously but she's like resized and things like that so um, yeah I every Tuesday I go on and I, I pick like the journaling kits because like this didn't look amazing on the photos and you never can tell how much you're going to like something but this is absolutely stunning i mean you've got corners there loads of like toppers a corner another corner a corner a topper a corner you know lo loads of got some washi tapes there inside you can put those down the sides and then these can come in i do use things like this in my weeks and then these are the squares and um, she does two different type of squares so she does these ones with just like a tape and she also does these ones with like a pin so from now on i'm ordering like both squares because i will use them and now that i've decided you know if i want something to stand out i need to use one of these boxes i'm going to need to get as many colors as i can so yeah check out little bloom papery and it doesn't always it's not always only on a tuesday and um, you can order on other days as well so definitely go and check her out and um, shipping is reasonable as well i think she says five to something working day i always get them pretty quick so i am building up a collection um i've also got these foiled gold ones from saucy sticker co and then these ones are from chic streak sticker boutique haven't really been using these a lot but these have got nice because they're all different shades of the the colors and then this is a brook eva prince little bow one so that's why i want to keep that there with the rest of the stuff so that i know um so i know that i've got them right next up is a, another album and this one isn't as full um i've decided this is where i'm going to keep all my like planner spot extras that i've get because i've put an order in for more washi tapes and functional boxes and things like that so we got these on the last subscription my stackery box is stuck at the post office at the minute it's not moved where so this so it's in july now so this was june's one i think we got these like washi strips and i love them for the kimbo and the weeks and then again like 
boxes will go in here and then anything else that I get from the planner spot will go in there. So they're like the albums and things like that. Next we'll go on to these. So these jelly pouches, um, my husband made for me on the sewing machine. We just bought some jelly and he sewed it. This one's got like a main pocket, a secretarial pocket, and then I just stick pockets on the front. I buy them in bulk, get like, ooh, get like a big box of them. Uh, they're just business card pockets and you get a hundred. Um, still got loads left from Amazon. I think it's like, I don't know, 15 pound, but I use them all the time. I use them. So I stick pockets on the front and back of these. And then this is, I can't remember, Crafty Licious Loves, I think this is. This was like a printable and you could make, yeah, Crafty, Crafty Licious Loves. Um, I've just made a little um, folder. And then these are like icons that I have made myself for when I'm planning in the weeks or the Kimball. I do often forget these, I forget about them. Um, that's why I've put some in this little pouch here as well, so I can see them. Can't remember where this little pouch is from either, but this has got all my little tiny icons from Alvi Planning. And I've got a little paper K sample. And then on this side, it's just some florals with to do their freebies on there. So I keep all of that as well as my little ones there. They all stay in this little pouch. But you can't believe that all this fits in one of those pouches. So we'll start with this one first. So this is one that has a little bit of everything in um, that I will use for my Kimball or my weeks. So I've ordered these from House of Stickers and I got the first couple of, I uh, got the first months uh, in there which I've used and I've just kept them at the back because they're really good they come with the same like deco and they've got the days of the week and then they've got these bill dues birthdays anniversaries and then they've got a little thing for like whatever um it is that month so halloween and stuff like that so i've got the rest of the year in these august september november december and then i have the remainder of the ones just behind and I put those just in a little pocket at the front. These are little journaling sheets. So DK Design, she started giving little journaling sheets in her kits. Well, not started, she has done. And I like to keep these if, if I haven't got like my main. So I've got this sticker album here, which houses like my this is the kind of stuff that I'd use in the Hobonichi weeks as deco. And then I think in the back of this one, is it in this one? No, that's a big one. Oh. In the back of one of them is, I've just seen as well, some planner spot stuff that I want to take out of here and put in that and put in that little folder. See these are really good for highlighting things. So if I take them out of here. I can put them. Oh they're Pebble Co. I might put the Pebble & Co ones in. I'll see if I've got any other room. These are just dot stickers. But I keep my dot stickers in another one of those. I don't know where the rest of my... Um, Oh, in here. They're in the back of here. So this one I got from the planner spot is some more of like journaling style stickers. 
that I use, but I use those with like washing, things like that. So if I am out and about and I don't have like those around, um, I can decorate a spread with these and there's some other things as well. Um, yes, they're in there. And then this one, I've just got two House of Stickers freebies that are the same. Um, I love the House of Stickers, these little um, sticker sheets because these are perfect for planning. Again, Weeks, Kimbo, any small size planner. I've got this one a lot because I love it. <laughs> And that Harvard one. I seem to just keep collecting the same ones. So, yeah, they both live in there. And then here I just have some Alvi Planning pink flower florals and all of the boxes that you get with the um, Planner Spot subscription. And then in the inside is just some of my own scripts like that I use quite often. Put that there. And then this one again is a mix match. Um, it's got some functionals there. It's got these arrow stickers, which um, I've got quite a lot of. And then I've made like drops and bows in order, uh, drops and dots in loads of different colours in there. So that if I want drops or anything, it's just got a few little balloon papery. I like to keep those. I might put those in the back of here because they've got boxes on I'm going to do that I'm going to put those in the back of there like that put those in there sorry my um, daughter's playing outside with, his friend, with her friends so yeah we've got some dots there and then these are little like extras that I can add into my Kimball when I've like finished planning the week and then just some little cute character stickers from Laura Jane Style. I have got a discount code for her. I think it still works, I'm not sure. And I've got a discount code for ALV Planning Co. and I've got a discount code for Rebel Ink Co. So yeah, that's the um, last of the jelly pouches. And then we'll come on to some more stickers. So these are new to my collection and I wanted to have them like handy with me these are like gold foiled it says I like coffee on there these are coffee quotes um, where are these from because I didn't push the thing all the way down because these are like quite a difficult Oh, these are from Station Holic. These are quite difficult size to find somewhere to go. This is vintage, and then that one is coffee hour, and then there should be one more. Yeah, here we go. Is that where's my favourite one? I'm gonna buy this one again. This is on the desk, and I just really like that. So we've got those that I keep. So this is just little stickers um, that I get like these ones are the ones that you get with your sterling ink subscription and then some other ones i can't remember where these are from but like they're just little like they're paper minty studio ones and they're just handy to have around you know for a spread so i just keep them with the backing on the pocket just in the little pocket like it is and then i did have this in my um I did have this in my pouch as well and these are <clears throat> excuse me these are amazing I love these I just love the fact that they've got tabs on the top so these are from uh, the planning world and they're all different so this one's like more of a, a drinks kind of look at that girl she's amazing um, drinks and planners stickers there and then I actually used uh, a whole one of these to plan a week out because sometimes I mean these have got like coffee and things in like yeah this one's got boxes I love those jumpers I love using jumpers in the weeks and these planners and then it's got like a little bit of washi on the end there so that's one side and then the other side is this gorgeous like 
um, like Scandinavian type theme, so all the greens and the healthy stuff. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I kept these in, like more jumpers and stuff, because these are perfect to use um, in, in all the planners again as well, because you can just pull little bits out. I do need to um, remember I've got these though, like I cut the bows out and the planners and things out, like if I want to use those as well. I mean, that one's gorgeous and a little sticker and extra sheet there. So they fit perfectly in here. This is a little pouch from um, DK Designs. Um, she often gives you things in pouches, so I keep them and refurbish them. So I keep that in there as well, so because I can use that for journaling. And then I've got this one, which is a load of little bloom papery like the mini flowers and some um, translucent scripts and finally we're getting near the end so this is an old style of um, I, I don't want to say old because I think she changes it up quite a lot um, but her little bloom papery is like two for two Tuesday I've just got some different variety of kits and colours and things like that and then let's put that back in and then at the back i just have a load of these um number dots i have the large ones and the small ones like literally i could just grab this pouch and just be be good to go and then finally is this one it is brimming so i'm gonna to have to think of another way to store these but i have been keeping all of my sterling ink subscriptions in here i keep them all together until i've used them a couple of times and then i just split them up into big sheets and small sheets and dates and date dots and numbers and everything like that i'm not going to go through all of that because it will take forever i put things in little pockets so that is like my sterling ink um <clears throat> collection so will it all fit i hear you say so what i tended to do in this front one that didn't was that that so see this one has been stretched out so they fit so I know they fit just needs to be stretched so have faith I've forgotten like how I set uh, how I set this up in the other one so I'll put those there as for the inside um, these I always put there I think I'm gonna put um, put those there I'll put the boxes and these um, the planner spot ones in that back pocket there um, this one will go in with the folder because they're, they're like two of the main two that I grab that that so I've got some scripts so I think I'll put my scripts in these two pockets here and then if I turn this around this one because do, I don't really use that one as much and then in the back right, in there I'll put these in there and I'll also put I don't think I'm going to put that in there because I don't want a big yellow thing sticking out but these are okay I'm 
there and then I know on this side was where I put these sticky notes and let's put the washi in there as well and all that's open let's just put this in there with that one still got this one here still got all the space there let's let's just have a look shall we I think I'm gonna take those out put that in because it fits and then I'm gonna so at the minute I've got script ones so I'll put my two script ones there and then I'll put these two there this goes in there and this goes in there and they don't fall out that's fine I think what because there is a bit of room at the top so oh, not you sorry I think I'm going to put this in we'll try and put that in because um I do want it as a just in fact I do want it as just a grab and go I mean this this is a chunky chunky beast I'm thinking that will go in there squeezed in there at the top there is loads of room this um, will stretch so I'll leave that there like that and then at the back we have so if I put those notes there and these notes there it's really tight like nowhere near as tight as the other one so this is why I have all of this stuff in pouches so it can just literally slide in the back there all of these slide in there and then we've got this one this I will put in there and then we've just got this one which because uh, it's got a rope on it which I will just she says slide in there and that my friends oh sorry wiggle you around everywhere that is a packed Delphonics pouch there's still there's still room in there so I'm not worried about it and I know that they do stretch because I know it all fits in there so what I'll probably do is just leave it all in there like that and then yeah that's it that is everything that I'll need the bottom's getting really dirty already that was the problem you see they do get dirty like if you look at that and I think I'm gonna have to like I don't know how to clean them I wouldn't recommend putting them in the washing machine that's what I did with my pink one and it came out all like crinkled and everything I mean it's still usable but um, it did come out all crinkled so I'm gonna undo the zip just to let it let the rest of it stretch out and that's it guys that is my planner pouch and that is literally all I need to grab like I probably wouldn't have my planner in there ooh, so that I could fit other things in <laughs> this is like really hard to get out um, yeah I probably wouldn't have my planner in there um, but yeah that's that's it guys that's 
my pouch and then I wouldn't need like all of these in there I could put I could put some in here so the sterling ink one I use a lot and I want to start using that one so I'll put that in and then you know this if I'm just doing in my weeks even with moving those I can still fit my weeks in there and the pencil case you know so depending on what I'm planning in and what I'm taking um, with a little jiggle around it all fits nicely I will put those back in there but I am going to change those colors and I'll just put them next to each other so yeah that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this video um, if you did give me a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one guys bye